<clears throat> Hi there, this is Jack, and we're going to discuss masturbation and the intricacies of the design of masturbation uh, in relation to the mind consciousness system, meaning uh, what is the actual nature of masturbation through the utilization of pictures in the mind. Um, what impact it has on self and one's world and what consequence it has on the being that is portrayed within the picture within one's mind that is used um, to initiate the experience or expression of masturbation. Alright, um, let's start with porn. Now, pornography, um, that is one of the facilities that is utilized to initiate the um, experience and drive uh, for and of masturbation. Understand that the beings that are in the photographs or the pictures um, within the pornographic uh, websites, magazines or videos, um, whenever one use that picture, that photograph of that being um, that is portrayed within the picture or photograph and you're using basically that being to initiate the experience and drive for and of masturbation and within yourself what happens is you manifest an energetic connection to that being um, because understand what exists within and as self um, as the mind consciousness system and also as the physical is existence in its entirety both the world system and both the physical reality um, so within yourself as that being you're creating an energetic sexual connection and understand that whatever is being pictured or imagined within your mind um, with regards to that being that is um, in the picture or photograph um, is exactly the same as actually doing the physical act thereof. So in essence, whatever you are imagining or picturing of that being, you're doing in actuality because it's an actual physical experience. Whatever is done within your mind is equal to doing it as an actual real physical act. Um, therefore, in essence, whatever is being done to that being in your mind uh, to initiate the experience of um, masturbating, uh, you're doing it without their permission from a certain perspective. It is like energetically raping them and understand that the more intense the energetic expression is while masturbating to that picture um, of that being and creating an imaginary fantasy, uh, the more extensive the energetic imprint of that entire experience uh, is manifested within that being and also within yourself. Now. Understand that within the principle that this unified consciousness field world system is based, which is like attract like, um, what you are creating or manifesting for that being because of that energetic imprint that has occurred is her.
experiencing that very energetic experience you've imprinted onto her, which is the energetic experience you experienced um, while masturbating. And what happens is you kind of fill that being with that energetic charge. And that being will then within their world and reality live it out. Meaning, without them even knowing it, they will be directed by this energetically charged experience that they will believe, that they will believe is of themselves um, and be driven to certain experiences, situations of which they have no control. Um, when all the while that energetic charge, that energetic experience has got nothing to do with them. They didn't create it. It is the being that masturbated um, of or with them in their mind and fold them and charge them with that energetic charge, the being that masturbated experienced. And this is how um, beings that masturbate with photographs and pictures of other beings in their mind are directly influencing um, those very beings' lives. And not only that, but you filling yourself with such an energetic charge um, according to the imaginary fantasy you've created of that being um, in your mind and the intensity of the masturbation experience um, you will in turn attract certain beings into your reality, into your world and within that attraction at the same time attract very specific particular experiences into your reality that seem random but actually is self-created because you literally charged yourself with an energetic experience with an energetic energy now that energetic charge energetic energy experience needs to discharge and that happens through attracting beings into your reality that is equal in one to that energetic charge and then within that to really discharge it in its entirety is to go through an experience, situation or event. Um, wherein, for example, um, dependent on the nature of the fantasy or um, what it is that you utilize to um, initiate the drive for masturbation, um, for example, let's say the nature of the fantasy or the imagination was uh, brutal in nature. Uh, that brutality turns you on. I'll discuss in the next interview um, the continuation of this point. Thank you.